How'd this come about? Why'd you want to do the story? I all I mean, for me, Thurgood Marshall is one of the most underrated heroes in American history. You've got the people who created the Constitution, fought in America. That but that fundamental core idea, all men are created equal, never truly fulfilled until Thurgood Marshall made it happen. Why did you decide to tell the story the way you did? Because it's not a typical from the, you know, cradle to the grave biopic. You chose to focus on a specific case in this man's career. i got to be honest. I get a little nervous about biopics because they can fall into the category that I call the medicine movie. Oh, you need to see this. I mean, it's good for you. I, I know it, it doesn't taste great, but, you know, take, you know swallow it down. You must go see it. That's not how I want to sell a movie. I, I feel like people work all week. They want to have a good time. They want to see something with that suspense that, you know, you get scared. You might get a little choked up. At the end, you laugh a lot more than you think you're going to do. Then at the end of it, you go, that was good. That, that's what I was striving for with Marshall. Now, you chose Chadwick Boseman in the lead. He's literally like a walking Black History Month calendar. Was there any apprehension about casting him? Because he's played a couple of iconic figures already in his career. When Chad and I sat down to talk about doing this movie, he was very honest. He said, look, man, I don't want to do another historical character. I said, I know. I, I knew you might say that. Why don't you just read the script? So he read the script. He goes, ah, man, now I kind of almost have to do it. OK, but wait a minute. Ooh, what about what I look like? I don't look like Thurgood Marshall. I go, you're right. You have a different skin tone than Thurgood Marshall. And you know who else had a different skin tone than the person they played? Denzel Washington and Malcolm X. And I don't remember anybody complaining about Denzel in that role. And I can tell you I've shown this movie in front of a lot of audiences already. And no one, and I mean no one, complains about Chadwick Boseman in this role. All right, let's switch gears real quick. It's the 25th anniversary of Boomerang. Yes, sir. Does it still surprise you how people still covet that movie? I must admit, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, there was a celebration screening at the Smithsonian African American Museum in Washington, D.C. And usually I, you know, I leave the theater, right? But I hadn't seen it in 25 years. So I said, you know, I'm going to sit and I'm going to watch it with them. You know what? That movie's funny. <laughs> I mean, it's because it had been so much time I could watch it like a member of the audience. I was like, people are still laughing really hard. They're really caught up in the story. And, I'm, and oh, that happened next. And, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm judging by directing 25 years. I say, like, I approve those choices. I, I, I thought those were good, good calls, good calls. Well, congratulations, man. It just shows you have staying power. Because, I mean, you've been in the business for a long time. And you're coming full circle. And we need more movies like this, so don't stop. Yes, sir.